What should you do if someone you love is or may be infected with the coronavirus? Painful, but you have to isolate the person, preferably to one room, and assign a single caregiver. It's vital for the caregiver to wear a face shield or a mask and wash hands frequently. Routinely air out and disinfect the room. And don't forget to tackle the toilet and bathroom with that disinfectant or make do bleach. On the bright side, tableware and clothing can be washed with everyone else's. Just use gloves and make sure they're dried thoroughly. Not easy to get used to perhaps, but these little steps can help you stay healthy. Hi, my name is Daniel and you're watching Hiking and Survival in Japan. And today is day 40, 41 of our non-mandatory lockdown. Okay, here in Japan. At their last Thursday, the Japanese government decided to reopen up other parts of Japan, but they're still holding on to Hokkaido, Osaka, Hyogo, Chibe, and a few other places in a non-mandatory lockdown and uh, how does that affect me well it doesn't affect me that much at all to be honest with you um things have changed quite a lot for me personally in the um last two three weeks um and i explain what been going on um as you know, these videos have been mainly about me cocooning with my family in place and protecting ourselves from the virus that's going around. And uh, the only people who should be going out to work is essential workers. And this brings me to me. So basically, I've changed my job there um, about two weeks ago. It's been coming for a while. Um, if you have been watching my videos, you know that my previous company used to send me basically all over the prefecture of here in Hyogo and even outside sometimes on overnight work trips and to teach at different schools and, and locations. And as much as I loved my job, um, the erratic days of work and basically the erratic traveling was just getting a bit too much for family life uh, for me and for my health. So I had to take the drastic decision to change jobs after nearly over nine years. Okay, I was coming up to 10 years with them. And so now I am working for a kindergarten, um, which means then that I am actually kind of now an essential worker because my kin most kindergartens here in Japan, or they have different names for the different types of kindergartens they have. They have Hyokuens and uh, kindergartens and then they have other types of things as well basically some of them have daycare centers and some of them have are just normal type of preschools that we have in other european countries the place that i'm now working in basically ha is a, a daycare center and preschool rolled into one which means then that most of the children that be going there are belonging to essential workers and things like that where parents cannot um, stay at home and look after their own kids which means that I'm now an essential worker as well because I need to look after these kids and help um, take care of them, which is what I wanted to do. Um, it means now that I work Monday to Friday, I have weekends with my family, and I feel like I am contributing something back to society where I wasn't before. Okay, uh, what does this mean for this channel? Um, it means a lot really because in my previous job I had days off whenever they gave them to me which means it could be midweek it could be weekend it could be any time whatsoever which meant then if it was midweek and my family were at work and school I uh, gave me free time to go out and do hikes and do reviews and do all the other things that I used to do in this channel um, but now working Monday to Friday means that I will only have weekends and most of those weekends will be taken up with family. Um, that means that doesn't mean that I'm closing down this channel. That just means that things on this channel will mainly revolve around things that I do with my family in the outdoors or just reviews of products that I get. And since YouTube do not pay me um, for any of these videos anymore, the likelihood of getting reviewed products to do is very, very hard. 
for me. Um, any companies that had reached out to me originally then backed away for different reasons, either because they didn't have licenses to actually sell the products here in Japan or in Asia, or they just felt that trying to sell to the Asian market when they were already making stuff in Asia was a bit ridiculous as they were trying to get more of a European market. Or the European market people wanting to break into Asia didn't really want to sell, send the product to me to test out. They found it very difficult to do. Um, I had this happening with different things. One Tigress was one company who reached out to me at one point to see what I do reviews to them. I said yes, I'll be very happy. They send me out basically backpack attachments and replacement parts to do a review on. I did that um, out of my own money and cost. I did reviews then on um, their different ID wallets and a few of their bags and different things. Which, um, thanks to you guys, got a lot of reviews and got a lot of uh, questions about. But they were products that I had bought myself that were not sponsored by One Tigress. Um, when I did ask, were they going to send me out any more products? They send me out stuff for Airsoft, which I don't do anymore. I have not done it for nearly seven or eight years now. And... It was a pointless thing. I said to him, have you been watching my channel? Why did you send me these magazine pouches to do a review on when my whole channel is about hiking and survival? Um, and that was the end of it. I didn't hear anything from them ever again after that. Um, it just didn't seem to be that was what they were trying to advertise or publicize here in Asia. Um, and so that was one of many companies that did not do anything for me. Um, Free Soldier was another one. Um, I had done a product review out of my own pocket again on a tarp that they had produced. They loved it so much they actually even asked me for the video to use as a publicity for them. And they were going to then send me other products to review. It never turned out again. They just dumped me, uh, even though they took my video. And so I have been burnt many times in the past doing reviews and trying to get sponsorship from companies. If there is any company out there that would like to sponsor me, I would be happy to do reviews for them. Okay, I do honest reviews and I try to do as best of videos as I can um, for those products as well. But there you have it. Um, that's what's been happening to me now over the last few weeks while I've been quite quiet. Otherwise, what's been happening here in Japan as regards to the pandemic, really nothing much has changed. Um, Asian people, especially Japanese people, wear masks most of the time anyway. When we had the SARS outbreak there a few years ago, again, we got through it quite easily because everyone wore masks and everyone just picked up their hygiene policies about washing their hands. The same as what they're saying now. And so we haven't seen that much of a rise here in Hyogo, um, but in Osaka and Tokyo and Hokkaido, they have seen still large amounts of infections. Most of this could be because they're doing more testing now than they did before. And the thing is that's the policy that's happening all around the world in other countries at the moment is that you will find that they'll have spikes in the amount of outbreaks that they have because they're suddenly picking up on the actual testing where if you don't test you don't find out which means then you don't have a high infection rate on paper um, it does not pe mean that people are not infected and people are not dying it means they still are but they're not being recorded and that's basically what's been happening here in japan um, as well as most other countries the governments have been either on purpose or not on purpose um, not doing enough testing so they can falsify or not show true things on their actual infection rates. Um, I know America was complaining about China because they changed the way that they were testing infected people and, and keeping the records three times over the time that the pandemic started in China, which means that now the Americans saying that the actual statistics of how many people were infected and died are incorrect. And that's happening in every country not just china um i think without bashing china at all you have to give them their fair dues that they have dealt with this the best they can since they were the first people and the first nation to be 
faced with this new disease and the pandemic and really every other country in the world has been watching them and how they've actually dealt with it realizing that they cannot crack down on the people and isolate them as much as they did because they are a communist state um, and trying to do the best they can in their, their own countries by altering it either way even now in certain european countries we're seeing people basically stand up and say hey we're not staying in our houses anymore we got to get back to life as much as i totally agree with them and i can't really sympathize with them because i haven't had that restrictions here in japan because the japanese government had been very 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 vague on all the regulations and just hoping that this passes away as quickly as it can but then again the japanese government has a history of being very vague and very non-committal to any natural events that happen in the country um just look at fukushima and how they passed everything off to the actual nuclear company that the uh, electricity company that was running the power plant and saying well it, your accident your fault you deal with it where in any other country the government would have stepped in and taken over the cleanup and the response team where the Japanese government has stepped back and say no that's your responsibility you do it we'll just watch you even though the nuclear regulation authorities from from around the world have turned around and said what the hell are you doing letting them clean it up they were the ones who created the mess in the first place you can't trust them they don't have the money anymore they don't have the backing you've got to step in and take over the Japanese government hasn't um, and that's the same thing that's happening here with the covers 19 and their response to it they're just kind of leaving it to the hospitals and the people to look after themselves at the end of the day um, each prefectural government or yeah each provisional government is basically doing the best they can with their hands tied by the, the central government some of them are trying to overstep their bounds just to keep their people safe Luckily, the Japanese people are pretty good when it comes to rules and regulations, if they're set out properly, that they will follow them. Um, but as regards to the very vague ideas that the um, and vague responses that the national government has been giving, Japanese people are kind of find themselves in a grey area. And most Asians don't like to be in a grey area of, of a law because they suddenly realise that there's many loopholes and they don't feel they're bound to any responsibilities so i find now going to work in the mornings i've got to travel for nearly one hour 30 minutes if not more to get to my work new workplace um in the morning time i don't have much problems as there is not much traffic on the actual train in the morning but i do find on the way home that as it being rush hour that there is a lot more people on the trains coming back and that's where i really fear for myself and have to take my precautions more so of making sure that the carriage of the train that i'm in is as ventilated as best as possible can be um that i physically don't touch anything as i am on the train i really don't want to hold the handrails if i can as you know i keep hand sanitizer with me at all times and use it very frequently and then even then i take the precautions of not trying to touch my face and other products or other items on me while i'm out and about but all that said and done all we can do is hope and pray that this gets over with as soon as possible and that we can all come out to the other side um as i said in all my other videos only time will tell and history will will announce how well we've done during this pandemic um as for you all out there again thank you very much for watching um just regarding some statements that i had made in my previous videos about the japanese government not um giving enough warnings or advice to people generally um as you'll see in this video the nhk uh, national tv service has been putting out some really really good and well-made advice for people on how to keep safe I think these videos are great they're amazing they're well done really good advice um the only thing i'm really sad and upset about is that it took them so long to actually come out with these videos um really these videos should have been started to be made at the beginning of march 
of this year and put out but here we are halfway through May um, at the moment it's May the 16th um, and it's really too little too late I think um, I know these videos are really being put out because they're really trying to crack down on people in Osaka and Tokyo and Hokkaido and places like that to help them keep safe and to, re to encourage them to look after themselves as well as all these other uh, prefectures that have just been released from their non-mandatory lockdown um, and they we're still getting daily updates um, from our local government um, the prefectural government here in Hyogo every morning especially during the weekends send me out lovely messages reminding me to be safe not to travel to other prefectures and to um, basically keep my hygiene up and to stop socializing in large groups this advice is getting a bit um, tedious at this point but I know it is needed and it is a great reminder for everyone out there who basically are trying to pass this off as fake or just kind of can't deal with it anymore and that is a big problem that we are dealing with that a lot of people are getting tired of it and this is going to drag this whole situation on even longer because we have to be strong we have to do our best we have to think about protecting others if we keep trying to protect the other person with us and around us and they're doing the same for us then we'll keep each other safe if we're just going out in m3 masks which has a uh, regulator valve in the bottom of it and we're just trying to protect ourselves but still we could be infected and just infecting everyone around us that is not um, good for society and it's not going to make this clear up it's just going to drag it out even more and basically infect more people so i hope you're all keeping safe you're all keeping up your hygiene and i hope to all see you on the flip side and as always thank you for watching and be prepared